How do you change someone's mind? Often, you must change your own mind first. My name is John Padilla, and when I lost my only brother to suicide, Jack was just 15 years old. Still a child, although he would probably object to that statement. Losing Jack changed my mind and my entire outlook on life. The following few minutes are some of the lessons that I've learned in my five years since he passed. These lessons are not just ones that I have learned. They are lessons learned by many professional skiers and snowboarders from around the world who have experienced very different traumas and yet managed to come to the same very similar conclusions. My goal with this film is to encourage you to change your own mind in a simple effort for you to have the tools to turn your tragedy into triumph, or even better, to avoid tragedy altogether. Part 1. The Problem No one in this film is immune to failure. In fact, Every single one has relied on failure to propel their lives and careers. Part 2. The People and the Tragedy Each of the following characters has experienced personal tragedy in one form or another. They have generously offered to tell their stories in hopes that they can inspire you to tell yours. What's up? I'm Benny Harrington. I'm 21 years old from Wanaka, New Zealand. Skiing in the Olympics for me was a pretty wild experience. Uh, it was something that I definitely had my mindset on for the past four years or something. To get there and represent my family and my country was really awesome and unfortunately couldn't do what I wanted to do there. Which was a real bummer and definitely had a bit of a low coming off but just had to find things that made me happy and made me love life again. I went on a surf trip as soon as the Olympics was done and got my stoke back and then came right back to skiing and was just as stoked. My name's Alex Thisted. I'm a skier from Keystone, Colorado. I think this season was really hard for me mentally. I kind of had the misconception that if I was nice to everybody and I was successful in skiing that everyone would love me and treat me better, but I found that was not true. I feel like with a lot of my success came a lot of bullying and hatred. Within the last year and a half, I actually won the overall US Rev Tour and have my first World Cup start. And it was very exciting to get to travel and experience different cultures and food and opportunities. But I noticed that a lot of people from back home, family and friends who were really close to me, started saying really minimizing things to me. There were comments made about my body weight. I was compared to a lot of boys and people told me that my coach was wasting time on me and that I would never be good enough. And I think it just really 
It really shook me and I kind of reached my breaking point. There were times when I questioned if I wanted to go on with life and with skiing, but I kind of realized that skiing is something for me. It's my passion and I don't want anyone to ever be, take that away from me. Um, so despite that, I think taking a step back from my team, I wish them all the best. But yeah, I think it was the best move for me. Derek Schreiner, I live in Bozeman, Montana. There's only one day um, in your life that you're not gonna wake up for tomorrow. So you might as well turn that out into something special, something that you can write home about, something that you can call your mom about, whatever, whoever you're calling at the end of the day, just something to share of positivity. Um, and within that, um, your close family and your friends are chosen. You can surround yourself with whoever you want to surround yourself with. And for me, that's the most important part um, of being a part of who I've been lucky enough to be around and also to help make myself better and help make their lives better. Because at the end of the day, that's the most important goal of having the best day possible. Within my own mental health journey, it's been a lot of experiences within my own friend group, um, experiencing a loss. It was one of the worst periods of my life. It was the time that you and I went down to cook and were in, were in tears. It, it happened and then all of a sudden we were sledding and, and skiing and having smiles on our faces and we knew that everything that we shared, they had a part of it because that's the reason we're there in the first place. Hi, my name is Zach Moore. I've been patrolling for 14 years, um, 15 seasons, because I was lucky enough to do a season down in New Zealand. Um, and then I'm the ski patrol director here, um, and I've been that for seven seasons. First responder trauma comes from, obviously, the big incidents. You have seriously injured people, fatalities, that kind of stuff. And then we do incident debriefs. Um, we follow the 333 3 check-in. So day of, you talk about things. Three days later, three weeks later, and then we try and do a three month later. The three month later can get tough, especially if it's summer and that sort of a thing. Um, but we try and follow through on that. The other challenge is just the kind of repeated, like, yeah, it's all simple knee injuries, what we call simple knee injuries in patrol, but you see a lot of them, it adds up. Um, you know, patrol is definitely a dude's world, if you will. Um, it can be tough and get after it, work through pain, work through injuries, that sort of stuff, but it doesn't have to be. You can be efficient and work hard and get things done and also be open and, and communicate. And there's a time and a place where you need to say like, no, I need you to get this done. We need to show up to work. We need to dig out and go do routes and help our people and whatever. And there's also time and space to just maybe like, let's go have some fun runs today. Let's go mix it up and do something that we enjoy because we just worked really hard during spring break or Christmas break or a storm cycle. So just trying to find the balance. My name is Sarah Dolan. As a female in the outdoors, I tend to be around a lot more men than all female groups, especially when it's power sports. Treating it as being able to represent women in the outdoors is a really motivating factor knowing that like if I can do this I can show all the other women out there to do it instead of just being the only girl in one community that's not where I thrive like where I am my best self and I have the most fun is when I'm surrounded by people most like me so when I'm out there skiing with my girl gang like that's that's the best we all know how to motivate each other to the fullest we have we can laugh um, one of the best ski days I had last year was just this whole big girl gang <laughs> um, skiing down. We're all hooting and hollering. My name is Jack Clark. Originally, I'm from New Canaan, Connecticut. I was a case that needed to have outside people tell me that you need some help, um, which was a hard pill to f swallow. Talking to an MD and, you know, really sort of getting to the roots of uh, what is going in the, going on inside your head is tricky and um, the biggest help was being able to identify those things. 
it's impossible to figure out on your own. So, you know, having a professional there to walk you through it, just, you know, it gives you a peace of mind. Uh, my name is Bobby Sullivan. I'm from Chelmsford, Massachusetts. You know, the biggest thing is to find something you're passionate about and, and just stick with it and do it as much as you can. And, you know, staying busy with things that you really enjoy is, is super important. And that's, that's really been, I think, the biggest, like, catalyst to, like, for me, like, you know, staying healthy and staying clean is, you know, having skiing and having good people around you, for sure. I'm Maddie Marks. I'm a ski coach up in Vail Summit, Colorado. So being a local here for the last 10 years, coaching a lot of high school lacrosse players, not only in Vail, Eagle County, but in Summit County as well. Um, I've seen a lot of kids grow up into some amazing people and some, a lot of talent, um, but I've seen that also go the other way where a lot of kids were struggling. Um, so kind of got to a point with 10th Mountain Lacrosse where we've decided that we need to do something more for these kids. Um, as of right now, we're just trying to get kids out in the community with guys like myself that might have some knowledge that they want to learn, but more importantly, that is like, someone that they have a commonality with. Unfortunately, this winter, we had a lacrosse athlete who committed suicide. His name was Kellen Collins. We love him, we miss him. But that day was about to honoring him and going out and just being ourselves and shredding with our friends. Part three, the triumph. While all these people have clearly experienced tragedy or hardships, they have found growth, passion, and triumph in snow sports. See for yourself. Dread that outfit is cold. I can't find at the stove. Hey, you shot, but you bold. Too much drive, watch the road. Too much pride, let it go. I do mine on the flow. Too many eyes on your glow. I went blind on your glow. All this mine on the dough. I got mine on the low. They was hating on your track. You ain't even got them back. Not in the half pipe no more. <laughs> Aquapana in my cup. What's that? You can keep it seven up. Never that. All materials original. I must be a dope individual for me to pull up in the truck. Truck. Pop the trunk. Get bucked. Every record going down. Every price going up. If you listen to the sound, you will see it's really up. Come and link with a real one. Let me take a second. Let me feel one. It be only me when I'm walking out. I don't care what you're talking about. Only, only me when I'm walking out. I don't care what you're talking about. Only, only me when I'm walking out. I don't care what you're talking about. What you're talking about. What you're talking about. Girl, that turn up was real. That was something I could feel. I just pull up in the truck. Pop the trunk, get bucked. Buck. Every record going down. Every price going up. If you listen to the sound, you will see it's really up. Come and link with a real one. Let me take a second, let me feel one. It be only me when I'm walking out. I don't care what you're talking about. Only, only me when I'm walking out. I don't care what you're talking about. Only, only me when I'm walking out. I don't care what you're talking about. What you're talking about. What you're talking about.
Yeah. Oh, oh my huge. god! <laughs> oh my god, that was deep. <laughs> you were d even deeper than the right one. <laughs> Did she go bigger than me? Yeah. Oh. One, two, three, four, one. You told me that your love for me was not strong as it used to be, baby. Nothing but just chicken feed, baby. Oh, baby, oh, oh, oh. baby. But you are. Emotions grow and truth to stop that Hit my bag and they feelings usually You see the balance if you knew he been a Mavic Before it had me in a two seat with my homies Still a visionary till the movie So only those who would get the picture choose me Face earth shattering Got the plans to make the coast break Keep acting like you can stop me with a closed gate Keep acting like how I kill it ain't a cold case High above the law to fight the odds Why the rules bend your set defenses Try me if you wanna Is it your birthday? Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you.
I don't know, I just guess. <laughs> Part 4. The Lessons We Learned As promised, here are the lessons we learned on our journeys from tragedy to triumph. If you walk away with anything, let it be the words of these people. Stop worrying about what everyone else thinks right now. Just focus on yourself and let your skiing do the talking. Big love to the mountain in my mind. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Thank you, John. Thank so one of the things I would say that saved my life through this whole process was little gestures from people like Benny Harrington reaching out to me and just saying like, how are you doing? Like, I love you, I'm here for you. Just knowing that I was seen and people cared, I think that really made so much of a difference. So my advice would be for just to be kind to people. Um, whether it's in your sport or just in life, um, just check in on people you love, tell them you love them and make sure that you let them know that you're there for them. Do what you love because you love it um, and don't let anyone take that away from you. It'll definitely be hard at times, but um, just rely on the people around you who love you and your support system and just do what you love. Yeah, so the most inspiring piece of advice that I've had um, within passing or um, trying to come to those self-actualization moments is to not necessarily be selfish, but pursue what makes you happy and disregard the outside influences and just do it. Like there's no one, there's truly no one watching. You can, you can pick up something out of the blue and if it sparks a fire by all means like what's holding you back from that so as far as mountain in my mind goes um it's been nothing but nothing short of incredible to be around these individuals to help ensure their success within their own passions which for all of us happens to be skiing and snowboarding it's creating stoke manufacturing stoke being part of what's happening around you um, and appreciating it in the moment. Um, I think be open. There's more and more resources available, um, especially in the Resiliency Responder Alliance is the program that Laura McGlad recreated um, that we utilize. Um, it's hard, it takes a lot of work. I still struggle with it all the time. Um, but being open and creating safe places. Another lesson I've learned in my mental health journey is to find the right people that make you the happiest. Sometimes 
the people that you least expect. Maybe it's someone who has been your rival for years, or maybe it's someone that you've just never owned close enough, or maybe it is someone that you've always been close to, but making the most out of every single person and friendship in your life, you can grow so much that way because you learn so much more from those people. So there's the wider variety of people you have in your life, the more you're gonna benefit from that. And so as a female in the outdoors, when there is less people or less girls compared to guys, um, definitely find the people that make you the happiest and will make you the grow. The biggest thing I learned was people are gonna say and think what they want no matter what, you know? Um, like, if you're like me and you go through a manic episode uh, and, you know, you don't really have too much recollection of the things you do or say, um, people looking in will, you know, who are ignorant to your actual situation will make their assumptions. Um, and you just can't dignify them with a response. And it's not worth your time. It's not worth, you know, like they don't truly care. So the biggest thing I learned was there's no point on dwelling on it. Uh, the only thing that matters is how you're feeling about yourself and what's going on inside your own head and not the opinions of others. The amount of knowledge that goes into all these backcountry trips is, it's just really mind blowing, you know? I took a lot of spills. It was very, it was eye opening and it was super humbling too. And just really showed me how much I have to learn, you know, because like, I mean, I'm so comfortable in the park and I felt more comfortable in the air when I was hitting the jump than I felt the whole time on my feet, like trying to ski lines, you know? It's about, uh, it's about knowing, you know, knowing the risks and, and doing it safely and still taking those risks, you know, but like, but doing it in the safest way possible. It's, it's just incredible. You guys are, you guys are seriously showed me such a good time and yeah, it was keeping me safe out there. You know, I, I really appreciate it reach out if you're struggling reach out if you want to do something reach out and find the people that are like-minded and create your own core group that provides a resilience factor in life where you have the people to lean on if you can find them keep them close if you can't join up put yourself out there go meet new people there are people that are like you that have the same interests and want to see you succeed. Getting up on the mountain with friends to, to just enjoy myself. So finding that love and joy of just being on the mountain helped me overcome a lot of obstacles along the way. If it's loss in personal life, you know, girlfriends, boyfriends, you know, ha bad habits, you know, uh, uh, substance abuse things, those all can get sort of overcome if you have a process that helps you clear that mind and if you have clarity in your life and can set positive goals and work towards those things that at the end of the day will help you overcome whatever loss along the way um, if you don't have that clarity it's still okay to just be open and present and being able to release whatever negativity you have will then hopefully allow you to push forward and whatever else you need to go to no matter what you or someone you love is going through, you are not alone. Remember that every feeling you have actually has a physical mechanism inside your brain and that you are not just making it up. Do not be ashamed to admit that you don't feel okay. You never know who is just waiting to help you. I'll leave you with a story that has defined my path forward after losing my brother Jack. In Montana, where I call home, there are a ton of cows and bison, more of them than there are people actually. Montana is also a quiet, cold, and stormy place in the winters, but most cattle and all bison must stay outside and weather these snowstorms. The two animals, however, have very different strategies for surviving in weather that can sometimes dip below negative 40 degrees and produce feet of snow. When a storm approaches, cows will always try to run away from the storm. Bison, on the other hand, 
or run directly into the storm. By running into it, bison actually reduce the amount of time that they spend in the worst of the elements. Be like the bison. Face your tragedies and traumas head on. Your suffering will be over much quicker and you will see and feel the triumphs of the sunlight and clear skies far sooner. With love, John. Well, ain't I gonna sit and watch the time slip by?